Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Dungeons and & Dragons, and we're going to talk about what it means to connect a product to Dungeons and & Dragons, because I'm convinced that people don't understand what's happening with Dungeons and & Dragons right now with intellectual property expansion, and also with narrative, okay? So I've been saying this for years. I've been saying people don't understand what Gary Gygax accomplished with Dungeons & Dragons. They thought he wrote a cute little game and that it was shoots and ladders and that was the end of the story. Everybody was wrong, okay? So here's the issue. My humble opinion, Dungeons & Dragons is a human improvement engine. Who cares what Scott Garibase thinks? Let's look over on Twitter. You know what's been being said about Dungeons & Dragons recently on Twitter? People are saying Dungeons & Dragons is legit therapy. That, that, that conversation is being had multiple articles, multiple people, people are saying, hey, therapy is being accomplished right now with Dungeons & Dragons, right? You know what Forbes just said the other day? They said, we think that Dungeons & Dragons is scaling up to be the replacement of Harry Potter, right? I've been saying this for years. Dungeons & Dragons is not a game. It's a hundred times more than that. Uh, anybody who thinks it's a game is is looking at, is, is foolish. They're looking at the smallest, they're looking at, you know, they're putting their hand on the elephant and and feeling the trunk and thinking it's a snake. They just don't see the whole the whole myriad of what's happening, right? It goes way deeper than that. Let's get all the way in, baby. All right. So so at minimum, I think this was happening with TSR. It unquestionably has happened with Wizards of the Coast. The creatives on Dungeons and Dragons have been doing intellectual property expansion for decades. They have been connecting Dungeons & Dragons directly to non-Dungeons & Dragons intellectual properties. They've been taking the D&D intellectual property and connecting it to non-D&D intellectual properties for a long time. Now, this is what I'm saying, okay? Connecting a product to another product is not new, but what happened with D&D is new and it is vastly misunderstood. It is understood by nobody on the planet, in my humble opinion, but me. And let me, uh, I'm going to take you all the way there. Let's go. All right. Marvel. Okay. They're like, hey, we got, you know, Tony Stark and we're going to, you know, and uh, we're going to put him on a towel. So now you have uh, Tony Stark on a towel, right? We took our intellectual property and we connected it to a towel. Now what's going to happen with Tony Stark now? Well, they know. Marvel knows that now that Tony Stark's on a, on a towel, I'm going to take Tony Stark's face and I'm going to wipe the shower water off of my butt when I'm done with the ta- with, with the shower. They know that, right? Because a towel is a towel and everybody understands what a towel is, right? But in 1974, Gary Gygax changed narrative forever, right? He completely transformed how human beings tell stories. And I'm convinced the vast majority of Dungeons and Dragons players and Dungeon Masters don't even understand what he accomplished. There's no hope that anybody outside of the Wizards of the Coast creatives understand what happens when you connect Dungeons and Dragons to a product, right? So basically, you know, uh, Warhammer just happened, right? Uh, Warhammer's like, oh yeah, we'll, we'll make a Magic the Gathering, uh, you know. Uh, actually, let's try to get it more, even more direct than that, right? So... Yeah, Stranger Things. Stranger Things connected themselves officially to Dungeons and Dragons. That's very direct. There's no, there's, there's no uh, step step, right? It's just Stranger Things, Dungeons and Dragons. They're literally that close. Stranger Things is a non Dungeons and Dragons world IP. Dungeons and Dragons is an IP, right? Now here's the issue. Creatives knew this. I'm convinced that in, I'm convinced in my humble opinion, the creatives in Wizard of the Coast knew what was happening. The suits. At Netflix and the suits at Wiz- at Wizards of the Coast had no had and at Hasbro, the suits at Hasbro had no idea what was happening. When you take Stranger Things and you connect it to Dungeons and Dragons, what is the customer going to do with it? They're going to tell stories in the Stranger Things. A dungeon master, in my humble opinion, is going to wipe the sweat the you know the shower water off their butt, right? They're going to tell a story with it. They're going to smash those two worlds together and tell a combined story. Because that's how you use Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons is a product that has that has the primary purpose of telling a story collaboratively with charismatic, confident, intelligent people. And that's what they're going to do. They're going to wipe the 
the shower water off their butt with the towel you gave them. It, with D&D, you connect a world to D&D, the Dungeon Masters are going to connect them. They're going to make collaborative stories, right? Now, I hear you. You're like, well, we could always, you know, connect it. Let's take a not, let's take a world that is not connected to Dungeons and Dragons. And guess what? Wizards of the Coast has worked so hard, it is hard to find a world that is not connected to Dungeons and Dragons. I'll try to do it, right? So, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just watched a movie, Mr. Harrigan's Phone, right? It's a short story done by Stephen King. To my, to my knowledge, there's absolutely no connection to Dungeons and Dragons. So, you know, some other YouTuber, YouTube commentator will say, well, I could make a Mr. Harrigan's phone in a D&D uh, story, right? You could, right? But it doesn't matter because officially connecting a product together makes people very excited. Let me give you an example, okay? Adidas makes sneakers. Waffle House makes waffles. I tried to buy the Adidas Waffle House shoe. You can't get it because people were outrageously excited that those two things were officially connected, right? You could take your stupid you know, Adidas shoes and walk into a Waffle House. That don't make it an official Adidas Waffle House shoe, right? When it's official, it matters and people care. And that's what's happening with Dungeons and Dragons. And here's the thing, smart Dungeon Dragons masters like myself understand what's happening. I, in my humble opinion, 100% there are distinct Watsi creatives who 100% knew what they were doing when they were coming on in these worlds. The suits at Hasbro and the suits at every company they've worked with had no idea what was happening, right? And just like Bill Burr's bank stole $28 a year from him for, which he just talked about on a podcast, for three years, right? And then gave him four, you know, four months back, right? But kept two years, go listen to his podcast, right? The corporation benefited. This is one of the times where the error has been made on our side. Right? These companies have been connecting themselves to Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons don't do almost anything but tell stories. So when you connect your product to Dungeons and Dragons, you just permission people to tell stories with it, in my humble opinion. Oh, wait, what about the law? They will catch up in 35 years. That's when this will go to court. And people are like, Scott, why don't you test this now? And the reason why is this cake is baking, baby. I'm not gonna pull the cake out while it's proofing, right? We are determining right now what the, you know, the language that Dungeons and Dragons players, the use Dungeon Masters actually make of this from, you know, what has actually been presented and what's been sold, right? The more we use it, it's going to come into the actual um, parlance of the American user, right? And by the way, this is all gonna happen in America first, no other country. Every other country's 20 years behind on intellectual property. Some countries don't even honor intellectual property, legally, right? Like, so all of this will be, and so 35 years from now, the, the, the Supreme Court will make a ruling on all this. We are laying the bedrock right now on what that ruling will actually come out to. Because right now, the vast majority of the companies that are connecting their product to Dungeons and Dragons don't even understand that they are permissioning storytellers for Dungeon Masters, in my humble opinion, right? They And that's the issue is the, the, the key movers on this don't even know what's happening and the consumer is benefiting. And it will all be legal, in my humble, uh, my humble opinion, 35 years when the cake is baked, from now, when the cake is baked. That's my humble opinion. I'm ready to hear yours. Let me know in the comment below. Please consider liking and subscribing and have a wonderful millennium.